Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil and TireRack.com. Over the last decade, most American buyers have had more than a passing interest in economy. And that usually meant light front-wheel drive cars with four- and six-cylinder engines. But there are still plenty of V8 holdouts, mainly America's highway patrol officers. But a funny thing happened on the way to chasing speeders. Some folks in Dearborn found that civilians wanted to even things up. So here comes one of Ford's latest ideas, the LTD LX. Okay, are we really going to call the Ford LTD LX a sports sedan? Or is Ford just trying to get the most out of their already spent investment dollars with yet another throwback model? I mean, if you've ever driven a traditional big Ford, you probably think that sports sedan and LTD are mutually exclusive. LTD, now that stands for overboosted, dead as a doornail, power steering, and wallowy ride, right? True once, but not in this LTD LX. Even the standard LTD is not a typical big is better Ford. Based on the same downsized Fairmont Granada chassis that spawned the current Mustang and Thunderbird, Ford has already proved that rear-drive cars can compete in a front-drive world. This LTD LX answers to the helm like no big Ford sedan before. Firm steering and a controlled ride that makes a good run at rivaling Germany's best in response and feel. Take your favorite twisty road and the LTD LX is eager to prove that it's no boat. The smoky inspired suspension is stiff. The shocks are gas filled and the stabilizer bars thicker than on the plebeian LTDs. The result, little body roll and only a manageable amount of front scrub under hard cornering. Goodyear Eagle GT tires help keep everything sticking to the terra firma. Combined with the Thunderbird's four bar link coil spring rear suspension, they keep the tail from providing too much of its own steering input until plenty of warning is given. And that we found on a wet and icy track. But even though the LTD LX might do well on an Alpine adventure, it's also going to be happy doing a remake of Thunder Road. The unmistakable rumble from the chrome tailpipes tails the tail. Ford has stuffed the latest version of the old 302 iron block V8 under hood. It's actually only 4.9 liters in displacement, but 5 even looks much better on the two-arm air cleaner. It feeds a twin throttle body fuel injection system, a concession to modern times for output of 165 horsepower and 245 pounds of torque. And that peak torque occurs at only 2,000 RPM. So there's a potent power band from idle to well past legal speeds. Zero to 60 takes a fast 8.7 seconds. And with suspension upgrades and the LX's standard traction lock rear end, there's less wheel hop on fast starts than we found on a lot of earlier high performance efforts from Ford. A fast quarter mile was clicked off too, 16.5 seconds at 81, and that reads well for a four-speed automatic in anyone's hot car catalog. Passing as expected, also a breeze. With crisp downshifts, the LTD LX took only 3.6 neck snapping seconds from 40 to 55 miles per hour. We ran all our tests in dry weather too, so we can attest to good braking in the LTD LX whatever the weather. Despite traditional Ford nosedive, again less than before, stops were straight and not grabby. We did notice the power-assisted disc drum system had a fairly spongy-feeling pedal, but distances from 55 of only 124 feet indicate a very sound system to us. While the LTD LX has a cop engine, cop suspension, and cop tires, it has a Euro flavor appearance that a true low-bid John Law model can only envy. Trim is laid back with dark headlight inserts and red accents all around. The 70 series rubber comes on 14 inch road wheels with unusual rubber lug covers. Inside charcoal cloth promotes a seriously eerie look. It makes the LTD LX seem much smaller and more intimate than it really is. Ford's excellent sports seats, complete with six way power adjustments for the driver, are standard on the LX. The cushions are low and supportive, with a hand bulb to control the inflatable lumbar backrest support. A floor shifter for the locked-up torque converter automatic is also included. We like this slush box. 
and we like the steering wheel buttons of Ford's optional cruise control too. But the inverted V-shaped spokes of the Toyota-style wheel are badly out of place in a car where a firm grip is essential. Likewise, last year's Turbo T-Bird gauge package that gives only speed and RPM. It couldn't cost that much more to put the 85 Thunderbirds rally cluster, one of the best around, in here too. Long distance attributes also got mixed reviews. It may be very quiet, only 64 decibels at 55, but feeling every expansion joint gets tiring. Also, we found EPA mileage ratings of 16 city and 22 highway, as well as our own test result of 18 to be a bit low. Still, this is not an economy car. Nevertheless, it is a six passenger bargain. The LTD LX starts at $11,421. Air conditioning and a premium sound system are the single biggest items responsible for our test car's $13,795 final tag. Indeed, this is a true sports sedan by any measure. The Ford LTD LX is a well-balanced package of both European and American virtues. It has satisfying V8 power, plus the handling that discerning drivers demand. While missing a few of the refinements of its transoceanic rivals, it also has public affordability. And when you cruise up behind unsuspecting drivers, they almost always let you pass. Although for the life of us, we can't figure out why.